a person calls another person a racist. Then what? They've got critical race theory for them to learn about now. They've got a college. They've got a professor. They've got a classroom where Cornell West teaches about philosophy now. Reverend Al Sharpton, Mr. Former President Barack Obama. A person says you're a racist. And then there's a need and a requirement to regain awareness and freedom. following their instructions similar to prison and jail. And eventually a person learns what they need to know has to do with those incarcerated criminals unfairly put behind bars now. And then there's liberation, success, silence and quiet. and time. Now, a man kicks on a woman's door. A man says outside of a woman's door, she's a bitch. And other derogatory words now. A man kicks on another person's door. And a person cooks an important meal and essential food for a necessary energy now, and similar to the racism example, a person has only but a few choices available now. Drop what they're doing, a kitchen knife, answer fearfully and respond Gently, or else, not only talk to the bully, but speak with the Seattle Police Department about his words he shared with the 911 dispatch operator about a person who said they wanted to kill the entire building with a kitchen knife they were cooking with in a kitchen when suddenly there was a man at a door kicking and kicking and kicking Kicking, calling a gender neutral woman explicatives and derogatory words. And these aren't men who are wolves. These are men who women look up to, who provide security and safety for their needs now. Who smoke their cigarettes, puff their weed, and work together
unbothered by those smart people they stare at now and observe. Physically kicking a door, verbally saying you're a racist, both were spoken about and said. by another political party who said a former Mr. President, Donald Trump, was a problem now. Psychologically unfit for office now. Who said they would remove him by his hair And who was a racist, Mr. President Joe Biden spoke about previously now, confidently, assuringly to the public, to make them feel more safe, secure. Now, I stop thinking and speaking when conspiracy theories begin to be obvious. To avoid distraction and confusion unnecessary for current discussions. However, I'm at a loss for words with those humans who use those words so casually and intimidate so openly and have no consequences. And most notably, no regard for those they say are smart. Now, 